I thought I'd do another film, a uh, horror film, because they're always quite interesting to talk about, I guess, even though this one's probably even quite short. Uh, Blair Witch, not not the new one. I haven't seen the new one. Uh, for reasons you'll probably figure out if you watch the whole of this. I understand if you don't. Um, so, yeah, the Blair Witch Project. I saw this on... Actually, after that... I don't know if you know it. There's, there's a sequel to it, Blair Witch Book of Shadows. I watched it after that. So I was going with really fucking low expectations. Because if you've seen Blair Witch Book of Shadows... Jesus Christ, it has a bad fuck. I might talk about that afterwards, actually. It's a pretty shy film. Um, so, yeah, you know, just to keep in touch with this show of me just kind of ranting about things that are really irrelevant now and no one ever watched. So, yeah, the film of uh, Blair Witch is basically a camera crew go into the woods to, you know, figure out what's going on with this Blair Witch. Um, and then spooky things happen without you ever really seeing it. Um, and then they walk through the woods some more, and spooky things happen, and you never see it. And then they walk through the woods some more, and spooky things happen, but you never see it. And then it ends. Uh, and that is the film, in a nutshell. It's, I get, again, it's one of those that seems to divide people. Some people love it, because it, it, it is original in the sense that it was the first kind of held, handheld cam, you know, movie. So it's got a, it's spawned a lot of films. Uh, a lot of them bad, but it's, it helped spawn them, uh, you know, it was a student project, so to use that budget in that way, I'm, I'm amazed it wasn't used before, to be honest, but, yeah, I mean, it's clever that they came up with it, so i, I got to give them props for that, fair play. Um, so being the first of its kind, I, I guess I can't really fault it for doing anything wrong, it doesn't really show any kind of tropes that you get from new, new, like, found footage films, I mean, yeah, it's, it's still got an hour of nothingness in it, but to be fair, you could say it's also got the yeah, last half an hour has got nothing in it because the whole film has to be like nothing in it. It is just them walking through the woods with the camera and then just looking at some trees and going, "Oh my god, did you see that?" and then shaking the cam like crazy. So you know you need a bucket by you because you're probably gonna feel sick afterwards. I would not advise watching this film in VR, which I know some people do these days, because you will just throw up fucking everywhere. You you will op take off your, your thing, and you'll just be covered in sick, so I would not advise that. Um, and yeah, the characters are so generic that I can't really think anything about them, apart, apart from one of them is a fucking idiot. One of them gets rid of the map in the woods. I don't know why you do. I mean, why you do that? It's it's the woods. I don't I don't get the, the hilarity of losing a map and then after because he doesn't even do it at the beginning. Like they're pretty far into the woods and then he just kind of go. The girl kind of goes, "Where's the map?" And he goes, "I got rid of it." Why the fuck would you do that? I don't I don't know. And I was just I wasn't like I don't know how you mean to react to that. How, did they expect me to react like, "Oh no, now they're screwed"? I was just thinking, "Oh wow, he's a fucking asshole." You know, I hope he dies first, but I guess that is a good reaction, I guess, to have for something. Um, and then, yeah, because it had a budget of less than this hat, um, there is, like, no CG and stuff, which I guess is good, because this would this would have been terrible if there was CG in it. Just fucking awful. Because um, it kind of plays on the whole idea of you can't see the monster. Uh, and, and again, it, there's students, and it's an original idea, so I don't want to be, like, too harsh on it, but... There is also that thing of if you're still going to make a horror film, it still needs to have some kind of kind of scare to it. And they really tried, but it doesn't. It's too it's too there. Every scare, you know. At one point, they come out of the tent, and it's their friend's clothes by some sticks. And the whole point is obviously that they've gone missing. But I, showing some clothes on a stick, and then having the camera go, oh, shake, and she's going, oh my god, it isn't really a, a thing. You know, me me doing this with the with the camera doesn't make it scary or anything. It just it's just poor. Um, and yeah, I'm trying to think of anything else in this film I can talk about really. Um, I, I mean, yeah, I guess there's a sequel to it, and then there's a remake. So it, I guess it, it clearly, you know, for its time, was a pretty big and important film. And I guess it is if you're in a found footage films. It's kind of the uh, the OG of them all. Um, so yeah, I guess I'll give it a 6 out of 10. It, again, it's not like it's bad, bad. 
Um, and I've got to give it credit for what it did. Um, I, I personally don't care for the film, but I can see where it's coming from. So I don't want to like rate it poorly for that. So yeah, I, I guess I just I would advise checking it out just just to see if you like it because you might, and if not, y you know it's it is Blair Witch. It's not like a weird one to watch. Um, so yeah, six out of ten. Crack on. <laughs>